How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing something kind of fun. This is my first attempt at homemade body armor. So this is your standard size. Um, basically, I put this together with a foam padding on the back that goes up against your body. Uh, then we have a layer of Kevlar type material, uh, really tightly uh, woven fibers. After that is a layer of 10 millimeter powerlifting belt. So I cut that up basically to fit the shape of this. So there are seams, or there's one seam in it uh, right down the middle. So that I am curious to see, and I'm gonna try to hit that and see if that has um, uh, any factor on if anything gets through. I am not sure if this is gonna stop anything. Uh, this might be a very short video. I'm only testing nine millimeter today. Uh, I've got FMJ as well as um, seven or eight different types of carry ammo. Um, anyways, after the weightlifting belt, we have more layers of the uh, tightly woven fibers, and basically, um, that's more of a thick layer. So we basically have the yeah the 10 millimeter weight belt, lots of tightly woven fiber woven fibers um, on both sides of that, and then the back is just like a foam padding. So that's more for. Um, just a uh, trauma pad basically type thing so that won't do anything so what we're gonna do we're gonna go set this up I've got a little handy dandy uh, chest rig that we're gonna set this in my volunteer today is a case of water uh, we've got a little handy dandy chest rig and we're just gonna slide this guy in here like so and this will just give us some little uh, little support for the back of it so it doesn't go flying um, but you know Armor is going to be in a uh, plate carrier, chest rig type thing. So we are going to shoot up this chest rig today and uh, we're going to see if we can get some pass through. All right, so what we're going to be shooting today is the, uh, this is the Canik uh, TP9 Elite Combat Executive. So I have not done anything with this yet. Uh, this is a gun that I just got and we're going to be uh, shooting our armor with it today. So that'll be fun so here's what we got today we've got Fort Scott defense ammo we've got Underwood plus P plus uh, extreme defender we've got Underwood plus P we've got a sig 124 grain hollow point we've got federal HST spear gold dot that's this is a Hornady critical defense and then last we have a Barnes um, I forget the name of that one but I will put that in the description so we're gonna test all of these unless we have one go right through immediately. So like I said, this could be a very short video. And if it does happen to stop stuff, uh, I'm curious to see how many it'll stop before it stops stopping bullets. All right, first up, we have our Hornady Critical Defense. So I'm gonna get that loaded up and we'll get going. All right, so we have our uh, hole right there in the carrier. Let's pull this out. All right, first one up, a little deformation. Bullet entered here and I stopped it. So Hornady Critical Defense did not make it through. All right, next up is Federal HST. Um, I'm excited because um, we stopped nine millimeter. Got this one loaded up. Let's go shoot it. Just... All right, we do have water coming out of this. So let's see what we got here. Here's our hit. Oh, it went straight through. All right, so that's our federal HST. Went straight through out the back. So, if someone's carrying federal HST, do not wear this. But you know what, we're gonna keep going. All right, let's see if I can get this readjusted here. All right, so, uh, he's dead. But we're gonna keep shooting him. So what we're gonna do next, our second shot is gonna be a SIG hollow point. Our first shot is gonna be the Barnes 
Um, I believe it's like the TAC XP, uh, something like that. Um, if you haven't seen the gel video test, go look at that because this expands um, quite impressively. That's a word. Uh, anyways, so these, the first two are ones that I thought might stop because they expand. Um, honestly, I thought FMJ would go straight through this. I was hoping that the hollow points would open up and get stuck in there like the Hornady did. Um, and once we're all done, I'm going to dig any of the ones that it stops out so we can take a look at them. Uh, these are the final two hollow points that I was kind of hoping would stop. So we're just going to get these two real quick. Again, first shot's going to be the Barnes. Second will be the Sig. We've got our water dummy back up here he's wearing our chest rig and uh let's give it a go all right so our barns is going to be on the left the sig is going to be Ooh, on the right that probably went straight through um, so Barnes is actually right in the middle and it did go through now this guy right here we know that that actually came out the side there we know that because I saw water come out the side so both of those definitely went through so really the only one that has stopped so far is the Hornady critical defense so this is turning into a not so great plate right here we're gonna keep shooting it because I've got more ammo. So we'll try to hit, hit up the left side of this plate. All right, so the final shots we're gonna do, uh, I'm not feeling very confident with any of them. These are all, um, with the exception of one hollow point, our Underwood Extreme Defender and our Fort Scott Tumble Pot Impact. Those are both um, solid copper projectiles. They're not gonna be, they're not gonna deform at all, change their shape. I'm expecting those obviously to go straight through. Um, this thing doesn't stand a chance. I'm not gonna shoot the plus P plus because there's just no point. Um, then our final one is gonna be a spear gold dot. Probably should've done that one first. So we'll actually shoot that one first. We'll try to hit the left side over here, uh, give it a fair shot at stopping. And then after that, we'll shoot our extreme defender and the tumble pond impact. All right, I see more water, so let's go ahead and take a peek here. Where did we hit that? That must have been this one right here. Okay, dead center on the top. That was our uh, spear gold dot. Pulled more of the fibers through. Uh, that was actually right on that seam I was kind of talking about. So. We actually have three right in the very center, um, right where that seam is that I was talking about. Uh, so that's interesting. Our only shot that stopped has been directly in the middle of where one section of that lifting belt is. So here's what we're going to do. So I can see where this is a little better. We'll just put it in the front right here for our last couple. All right, so our final shots of the day is going to be our um, Underwood. Extreme Defender Plus P, and our second shot will be our Fort Scott Tumble Upon Impact. Um, not feeling very confident, but we've got our plate sitting right on the front just so I can see these a little better. We're gonna shoot up the left side, see if we can maybe hit right on the, the good part of this. And uh, you know, if we do end up stopping another one, then that's something to build off of. Obviously the goal is to, uh, I don't know, create something fun that's gonna stop bullets, so. Alrighty, that went straight through. Um, like I said, this is also a new gun for me. I'm thinking I might need to bring my dot over to the left because I'm aiming here and consistently hitting there. So uh, we're gonna aim over here and we're gonna hit right here for our final one. We're gonna see if we can stop something. What we did do is we did hit in the meat on that last one which is our tumble upon impact uh it went straight through basically we've got one two three four five six seven 
holes in the front and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes in the back. So we did stop around. Like I said, it was that Hornady um, critical defense ammo. Uh, so I, I am gonna pull that out and take a look at it. And uh, we'll go from there. Overall, um, if you know somebody's carrying Hornady critical defense, this will protect you once. I don't know about twice. Uh, anything else, I would not recommend it. So, let's take this open. Let's see what we got. I brought the plus P plus round, so we're going to shoot the plus P plus round. We're going to send her right over there, uh, just because we got it. All right, and as expected, it went straight through. Now, the question becomes, did we catch any projectiles? Let's take our little handy dandy carrier off of here, and we'll do some investigating. So here is our Hornady critical defense. It basically crumbled up into a little ball and it was in between uh, the weightlifting belt and then the set of fibers that were behind it. It was pretty fun. Uh, so far, we've got nothing. Didn't catch anything. Done here. We've got a lot of very badly wounded water bottles. So, which a water bottle is not very strong. But occasionally, uh, we catch something in them. So, like the gel block test, uh, the stuff that goes through the gel block, uh, we actually caught. It, well, but pretty much all of the projectiles with the exception of, I believe, one of the extreme defenders. I think one of those got away. Um, basically, the conclusion um, that I'm gathering from this is, A, probably need something hard. Um, most of the time, there's something hard within the armor that's gonna break up the bullet, so you need something that'll break it up and something that'll catch it. Um, so the Kevlar type material, does do a really good job of catching it. Um, I'll probably mess around, uh, find something, find something different. We'll take what worked, just the Kevlar material. Uh, we'll build on it. We'll find something else we can come out and test. Uh, this is just more fun than anything. Um, just that board had a broken weightlifting belt and some foam. I uh, figured we might just try to put something together. We did stop one, so that's a minor success. Um, yeah, you just really have to hope that the guy's carrying Hornady critical defense. If he's not, then bummer. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.